Hi, this is Mr. Marvel Man 4. I'm back again with my second review of Thor. I have looked everywhere for this figure and I finally found him. Uh, for accessories, he comes with his. Let's put the figure down here. Off to the side. For accessories, we've got his little hammer. Hammer? Sorry, I was thinking about camera. Uh,. It's got really nice detail. It's really battle worn, as you can tell. Uh, the straps are nice. It's even got this little strap on the end. I guess that's so he can sort of swing it around. Uh, no, that that barely fits on his fingers, but yeah. So you just slip it in his, clip it into his hands. Um. Yeah, he's got really weird points of articulation, which he is very much unlike other figures that I have, like Silver Surfer. Like, he's much thicker and tall. He's a little taller. He's like four inches instead of three and three quarters. Um, he's a really nice figure, but compared to the normal figure... He has all the points of articulation, like he's got his chest articulation going on. Uh, his hand does rotate 360. Single jointed elbows. Uh, he's got a ball joint that's hidden under his cape. His cape is attached so I can't take it off. Um, bicep swivel, 360. Ball joints, back and forth. You know, let's see if I can get a good picture of that. Oh, gosh, his head fell off. Well, there we go. That's happened lately since I took him out of the package. Uh, ball joint. And then, so he does have his chest. And his head does go back and forth, but it's hindered by his hair. Uh, and up and down a little, but when I do that, his head does come off, so, yeah. And then, he does have waist articulation, which is a little weird. And for this scale, I didn't think they'd do that. Even on some of the bigger figures, like Juggernaut, he doesn't even have waist articulation. I wonder why Thor does. Uh, and then he has his legs move like a normal leg, 360 around... Then he's got this weird joint right here. I don't know what to say about that. That's like 360, like the bicep swivel, but different. And double jointed knees under his boot, which I think is really cool. Because his boot just hides that. And then his feet could turn 360, but these little things right here uh, hinder it. His belt is not removable, neither is his helmet. His cape is really hard plastic, which I don't really like, but um, he stands pretty well. Uh, but uh, I don't really like the, all the joints of our points of articulation uh, enable him from standing too well without a stand. Oh, see? Yeah. So, anyway. Um, for paint, the, in between all these lines is, like, a little bit of black. And right here, like, it, some of the scales are ripped off a little bit to show that he's battle-worn. And the uh, things are all, like, uh, those right there. Yeah. He does fall over very... Here, I'll hold him. Uh... This isn't working. Those right there, uh, they're like tethered with the cloth. His hair, it's a brown, it's an orangish, um, gold. And then, but I just don't like the way his face looks. Yeah. Yeah, the helmet looks a little weird to me. Uh, the cape looks really cool, but it doesn't help him stand, which... I don't really like, but, uh, yeah. For paint, I'd give him a 4 out of 5. Three, 5 out of 5, I'd actually have to say, because of his hammer. I like that. Um, and 
for articulation, 5 out of 5, because he has so many points, but I just don't like it that his head comes off so easily. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. It's been Mar Mr. Marvel Man 4. Um, bye.